Eleanor Roosevelt once said, You can't tell how strong a woman is until you put her in hot water. Hello, I'm Ginny Ballou, president of the Idaho Democratic Women's Caucus. And I can tell you, things are definitely heating up here in Idaho. Our first all-star is Senator Melissa Wintrow, who has no problem making good trouble when it comes to the rights of women. Hi, I'm Senator Melissa Wintrow, and I'm very excited to be wishing all of you a happy Women's History Month. And I was asked to share a little bit about who I am in making history. And I came to the legislature in 2014 after serving in higher education for a long time. And I was a Women's Center Director. And as that position, I was able to work directly with victims and survivors of sexual and domestic violence. After years of service doing that, here I am in the legislature with an opportunity to put practice into policy. And so I share that story with you because we have been able to pass numerous bills that transforms how we process sexual assault kits in our state. And if I can do it taking from practical experience from higher ed and bringing it to government, you can too. I invite you, get involved, continue to advocate for women's rights and women's issues, and bring about positive change. It's not easy to be a Democratic woman in Idaho, where the Republican supermajority rules. And no one knows that better than our next all-star. Former State Senator Cherie Buckner-Webb is Idaho's first African-American state legislator, and she has a message for the Democratic sisterhood that everyone should embrace. Hello everyone, I'm Senator Cherie Buckner-Webb, and today I'm calling upon that mighty sisterhood of Democratic women from across our great state. I'm asking you to lift your voices, to continue to speak your truth, to demand that which are the rights of every man, woman, child in Idaho. Thank you for standing resolute in the face of daunting opposition. Thank you for what you've done and all that you will do in the future. Thank you for your leadership in bringing opportunity, copious amounts of truth telling and tireless commitment to our state. I pray today that you might continue to unite in purpose to build on the strength, the wisdom and the genius that is truly feminine to move forward with intention. We have the power to make change, to eliminate the inequities that challenge us, to eradicate the impediments, to endow the future we seek. Make ready, my sisters. Now is the time. There is precious, precious work to be done, and we are up to the task. Our Democratic women leaders in Idaho are doing amazing work, despite living in one of the reddest states in the nation. These women inspire me, and I hope that they inspire you as well. Thank you.